Hey everybody, one of their one page rules battle report. Today we're playing Age of Fantasy. It's um, a fantasy variation of the um, sort of like grimdark future rules where you can have Sam's musicians and it's a lot more sort of like um, a skirmish style fantasy game. There's no rank and flank, it isn't big unit trays. You can use a lower model count, but you can also use big monsters and all kinds of fun sort of like wacky wizards and things. Uh, there's free army list. I'm gonna link it all below, just like I did for Grimdark Future, where you can see um, all the different various factions they've made rules for. And I'm also gonna use the mission card structure. This is actually really sort of reminiscent of the seventh edition 40K mission cards, where you randomly roll every turn uh, we're going to use the head-to-head -head version of it where you roll three mission objectives for the brown. You play four turns, and every turn you're, uh, you and your opponent are trying to achieve the highest value one in opposition to each other. And whoever achieves it gets the points for it, and then that ends the game. So it's a bit different from when we did the Grimdark Future. We just played the core mechanic of like whoever holds the most objectives at the end of the game wins. This one's going to have six numbered objectives, and we're trying to do various things over the course of each turn um, to score points over each other. So show the table, show the armies, and we'll get this underway. Now, all right, so here we are setting up for Age of Fantasy. Um, now now, if you have played the other one-page rules games like Grimdark Future, core mechanics are identical. It's an alternating activation system where you issue units orders, and those orders can either be to sit still, which gives you some shooting. Um, you can move uh, and also shoot in the same turn. You can charge, which means you double move and attack. Um, and your core sort of like stat line is your move, uh, sorry, your quality, uh, your defense, and then whatever you're armed with. Um, you can have special rules as well. So, for instance, all of our models on the table here are tough three because we're using big boys. It's orcs against um, the Eternal Wardens. The Eternal Wardens all have tough three. It basically means that each guy can take three hits before they die. It's like a wound stat. Um, and other characters um, can have like different things like the wizard skill, which allows you to cast spells. My wizard and Mike's wizards obviously have that. Uh, you can have guns. So I have little bolt storm pistols on these uh, hunters. They can shoot 12 inches a single shot. Or I have crossbows over here on these castigation team. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, we have monsters and stuff as well. They're handled the same with like a big tough stat and um, various special rules to represent how big they are. Now, there's no formal army list building, which means you can kind of take whatever you want. We're using the Eternal Wardens and the Orcs, or is it Greenskins? Uh, orcs. It's Orcs, yeah. The orc, the orc lists. And you can kind of just take whatever you want. And what's great about that is you can use miniatures you might not use in their own game anymore. Like, I don't think I've actually ever used this Castigation Squad ever in a game that was not like a Barnes & Noble board game that they came with. <laughs> and or uh, Warhammer Underworlds. Uh, same with my Rangers. I don't think I've used them like twice since I painted them. Um, or my Lord, my, what was it, this guy's the Lord. I see, I don't even remember his name. I just remember he was Lord Hammercloak. Lord, Imp no, not Imperitant. That's the guy that replaced him. Castellan. Cast no, Castellan was the other one. Lord Castellan, maybe. Yeah, the Castellan was the one that put the lantern on people and he got used a bit. I think he was a Lord Castellan. I think you're right. Anyway, that goes to show how often I've used him. <laughs> He's also borrowing the Griffhound uh, from this unit leader so that he can have a buddy in the game. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's what I like about games like uh, One Page Rules. You can give new life to models that might be seeing the shelf for a while and play a different kind of game with them. So my list is a thousand points, as is Mike's. We're gonna try with a half size game on a four by four table, and then we'll expand to a two thousand point game next. Right, with a thousand points each picked, uh, you've taken the big the big cabbage dragon. Yep. yep, uh, yep. Two units of brutes. So the brute squad is here, and a whiz to keep it simple in the beginning. Mike makes good choices. I make poor choices. Other basic mechanics. Whenever we roll a test, a one's always a fail. A six is always a pass. You always have a chance at passing, even if you have a terrible stat. Um, all of the weapons that are ranged have a range, a number of attack dice, and any kind of value that modifies a save. You can measure any distance at any time, closest point on base to closest point on base. Um, and then finally, when you are in coherency, you're within two inches of another model in your unit. Line of sight is measured base to base, so if you can see the base of another miniature, then you can see it. Um, and we're gonna be playing normally on a six by four, but for this thousand point style game, to just like start off, we're playing on a four by four. Four mechanic for the game is you place D3 plus two objectives after you pick your armies. We're actually gonna be placing six because we're gonna use the additional rules for advanced. Now these are just in the free um, the free drive as well. The advanced rules, it's a D66 table for playing with mission cards. And we're gonna do total dominations. So both players share a deck of 36 mission cards. We're just gonna roll three at a time. Um, and then we play six objective markers, players roll off, and then go back and forth placing them. 
Uh, they can be anywhere on the table, not within nine of deployment zones. So I won the roll, so I placed the first one. You can control a piece of terrain or a objective, and it remains controlled if you have models within three of it at the end of a turn, and your opponent does not. Uh, now, at the start of every turn, we're gonna roll, and we're gonna write down the three objectives, the things we're trying to do, and the one that's the highest that you do at the end of the turn is the victory points you score for that last round. Last total of four turns, and at the end of those four turns, you will see who wins, so turn Roll one. Four deployment. I got a two. Five. Five, all right. So whoever deploys the model first or a unit first, we go back and forth deploying. Uh, we'll also go first during the turn because they obviously had to commit their battlefield line. So you're gonna uh, deploy second. I'm gonna pick this side. I'm gonna put a unit down. Deployed, I've got my castigation squad hanging out with my wizard and then my um, bronze liberation front, the liberation team over here. Uh, my, wi my uh, what's he called, eternal lord hanging out by himself and then my um, evocators are on the flank. I have my hunters in reserve. You've got Brute Squad A with a wizard in it, Brute Squad B without a wizard, and they both have the phalanx rule, which means I don't get any charge bonuses from special rules when I charge them, and if you have spears in the unit, I might take dangerous terrain tests because I'm going to run into them. And then you've got your, what's he called? What's he actually called? Like a war he, cabbage? He has a brute ultra boss on ultra Mal Rivers. <laughs> We're not even trying with the names. <laughs> Legally distinct ultra boss. Dun, dun, dun. Feels like a dollar store Avenger or Vongers t-shirts for this one. All right, so I put down a unit first, which means I get to take the first activation during the course of the turn. Now remember, I can hold, which means sit still. I can advance, which means walk uh, and take a shot, or I can uh, charge, which means move 12 and fight. Um, I choose to advance. Now advance is a six inch move for everybody, really. Um, doesn't really matter who you are. So we're gonna advance this team up to Meow. And because of the way deployment works, there's a 0% chance my 18 inch range guns are in range. So I will, however, you with my wizard, cast a cast spell. shock speed on the liberation team and try and get them to make a move. So I have to cast it on a, it's normally a six plus, so I'm wizard level one, it'll be a five plus. Five plus cast, I do. Gets them into the war, so they're gonna move up onto that objective. Now difficult terrain just means that the maximum you can move is six, so you just can't run. So you don't reduce your move for going into the woods and stuff like that, you just can't move more than six. So I'm activated, back to you. In this unit. They're going to make an advance roll and just, since you're going through the difficult terrain there, I only need to be seven inches away from you to not get charged. Not get charged. That's right. Which is fine. It's only charge six through terrain. Dun, 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 dun. And then let's see if my wizard wants to cast a thing. What would you like to cast with I your orky like magic? To cast. God, this table looks so good. This is fall themes, man. Fall colors. I'm feeling very fall today. Let's it's the first uh, day of October when we're filming this, so everybody's in a fall mood. Let's do a let's go. It's only going to work on a six, but let's, <laughs> let's make... go legally distinct from here. Here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, it almost worked. Almost worked. <laughs> All right, so the activation ends. We're going to go with the evocation squad. Uh, they're going to evocate their way over here, going six. And because their unit leader's a wizard, he's a wizard, Harry. We're going to cast. Gonna cast. Mmm, lightning, target enemy unit within 12, or I could do thunder, target enemy unit 12 takes two automatic hits at AP2, I'm gonna do thunder, little thunder, little lightning, let's do thunder, ACDC begins to play in the background, so it's a four plus normally, wizard one, so three plus. Now, that's the evocation team all done, back to you. Back to me, alright, let's uh... Oh, we forgot to roll for objectives for this. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, I actually know what we're trying to do, so you want D66 me? Yeah. And we'll see what we actually have for the first three. So turn one, it's going to be 14, 1d4, seize objective marker number four, so we're trying to hold number four. Oh, good, convenient for me. Hmm. Uh, then roll again, two different card dice, What's, which one's high? Uh, the blue is high. Blue is high. 1d4, uh, it's the same one. Okay, so the same ones can't be again, so roll again. Hold four. 45. 45 is, control any three. Last okay. one is 64. 64, which is execution. Destroy one enemy with the hero rule. I'll destroy three or more enemy units with the hero rule for two BPs. Hold more, hold four, and then kill you. Yeah. Only getting scored this turn is probably going to be hold four. <laughs> With the brute squad? Yeah. We'll just also go 12. Or up to 12. Keep our seven inches from these guys. Plenty of range. And chain back so you can hold five. Yeah. And they're all done too. They're all done too. 
Well, we're gonna go with the boss then, and he's just gonna walk six. Being a boss, like a boss, to here. And then he's gonna shoot you with his bow. Oh. bow, I mean Cloak of Hammers. It's th it attacks three, AP two. Um, and he has a quality of three plus. So two at AP two. I'll save on sixes. Nope. So two, two markers go down. And they're all tough three, so they're not dead. Tim all done. I've got my liberation front left. I've got this guy. The war pumpkin. Yeah. So he's <laughs> the not, ultra boss. He's not fa ultra boss. <laughs> he's not fast, but he does fly and he does have the war upgrade, which gives him plus six inches on rushes and charges. Holy grimoly. So if you can go not, 18. Not within 18. We knew that because math. Because the yeah, deployment math. But, uh... Getting himself ready for next turn? Yeah, I guess I can't quite get over to number one there, either. You can get within three of it, though, on the other side. Yeah, maybe. Definitely, yeah, just touching that. Does nobody has more? Um, and it's just the Liberators left. They're going to go protect the boss, just by walking six. And making sure that we hold three. Everybody likes to hold objective three. So we get to end a turn then actually mark these. So we put down counters to show who All right, can so my activated markers come off. Um, I've managed to control four at the end of the round, so I will score one VP. And we're gonna mark the um, the objectives when they become important with little gold tokens over there. So you can roll again and see what our mission objectives are for round number two. All right, blue will be tens. 55, that's gonna be... Terrify! Uh, an enemy unit fails a morale test, or three or more enemy units fail a morale test for two. Right down at terror. Next one. 53. 53 is cut them down, destroy an enemy unit, destroy three or destroy six. Destroy. And then the last one. My two friends, Des and Troy. 54? How are you doing this? Oh no, sorry, 45. 45, sorry, okay. <laughs> uh, area dominance, control three objectives. It wasn't control more last turn, it was control three. We both scored two last round because we both held three objectives. And control more. All right, so we have to try and kill as many units as we can, have a unit fail morale test, I have three units fail morale test for more VPs. It's a smaller game, they're not going to happen. Um, and then control any three objective markers. You go first because you finished activating first. Well, Jump on something with a wyvern, you're, so... Are you choosing violence? I'm choosing violence. That's fair. Uh, so he flies, so he's going to ignore the terrain. He's got his 12 plus his war move of 15, so he's going to fly all the way behind here. And just just break all my miniatures. Wash yeah, yeah, everything. Sick. And now you get to pound. So you do have many attacks, and you will attack, and then I will attack. I have so many. All right. So first off, I have from the wyvern uh, impact three, which is just three automatic hits. Three just saves. Yeah. Uh, so that's three hits. Three saves. Uh, so my castigation squad has a four plus defense. Are there any AP? Uh, they, these are with a weapon of your choice, I think. Three four ups. <laughs> pass pass fail. Take a wound. All right. Now we'll do the wyvern. Next stacks in that wyvern. Yeah, and this is at AP two. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, and quality is three plus, but my whole army is furious, which means they get plus one to hit when they charge. Nice. Uh, Back, so I'll make it this one. You make it this weapon. Got it. So two. So I did five, that. six up saves. <laughs> uh, well, I got I got more of those to come. I, got, I do, have to do them all as they go, though. Okay. So six up saves, because they're P2. Nope. So I make take five more wounds, which means two guys are dead. All right. And then my boss has got a great weapon. So, or is it just kind of okay? Well, we'll see. It's on threes. It's three more AP2 hits. Ooh. Three more six ups. Nope. That's the last guy in the castigation squad, so you're hitting the wizard now. And then finally, my scrap fist is three attacks, AP one. I guess he was an ultra boss. Uh, three hits. Okay. Uh, I have on the mage warden a four plus save, so fives. I pass one, so I'm alive. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> okay, well, that that hurt. That, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little pinch. I hit you back with two attacks. They both hit! Hey, you hit so me. two just regular old saves. I got no special weapons. Def 4 plus. I save both. Okay, well, um, everyone's dead and I've lost half my wounds, so I have to make a quality check on a 3 plus, uh, or I am going to flee because this is a melee combat. So as soon as you're at half wounds or less, uh, you're basically going to become either wavered or broken. So because my unit's below half, I become broken and just run away. I fail! She runs! And that means you qualify for cause of morale picks or just the. So destroy failed. the unit! 
I did. Because you finished the combat, you can consolidate three. Dude. Go work around. Work around there, and I guess I'll just uh, snag that objective. Nice. Well then, that wasn't great. Well, I guess we just go murder. It's it's all we know how to do. Uh, so we're gonna go with, I think, the Evocators, and they're gonna rush in. So they're gonna make a rush, going 12, getting the melee. The wizard will cast his spell on the way in. <sighs> I'm very tempted to cast Storm. Because Storm is on a 6 plus, but I do 8 automatic hits to you. Because it's only within 6 though. So I think I just do it. Or on a 3 plus, I can just do 2 automatic hits. At AP2. Now I'm going to Thunder. So it's a 3 plus for Thunder. Yeah, I wouldn't have got it. So take 2 AP2 hits. He calls on the Thunder. Uh, nope. So 2 wounds. So a guy dies, and a guy's got a wound on the stabs the evocation squad has uh two attacks with poison so six attacks total take very dangerous terrain i might run into spears on ones not nah, a wound shablam uh, so it's going to be quality three plus six attacks with poison uh that looks like four hits ap of two i believe on these guys just poison, dude. multiple by three okay so sorry actually you take eight hits this is more hits at AP2. So 8 hits at AP2. At AP2. Oh, yeah. good. Sixes. You brought a cas cabbage and I brought wizards. So, well, <laughs> so 7. Three, six, seven. <laughs> so that's another so, guy. 3. Guy. And a wound. 4, 5, 6, 7. I get to step back. I get to step back. Yeah. Alright. So I am Brute. I am quality 3 plus and furious, but that is on the chart. You're up in. Has got three attacks on threes. AP2. One, two, three. And they're AP2, so sixes. Nope. Kill guy. And then I got a spiked mace. And he's got a wound. Which is three attacks at AP1. Or three. Oof, so fives. Pass one, but still another guy dies. And he also has a claw for three <laughs> attacks at AP three. Sick. And, oh no, sorry, three attacks, AP, or deadly three. Okay. Well, just kill me. Uh, two hits. Any AP? Uh, there is no AP on Yeah, that. so just fours. We're good. Oh, made that though. The uh, shaman's gonna poke with a stick on a five. Does! Of course! No. So we both make morale checks here, because we're both below half all of a sudden. Uh, so my quality is a 3 plus. Oh, it's not uh, I'm okay. Combat resolution. Sorry, yeah, you caused 5 wounds total. You caused 7, so I lose combat resolution. Okay. Uh, so I need to make a quality test on a 3 plus. Oof. We're good. Back an inch. Uh, you actually bounce back an inch because you lost the combat. Well, exhaust in case we fight again. Because I'm good. These guys gonna go? These guys are gonna go. Um, and I think what I'm gonna try to do is spell jammer this chump away, and if that works, then I can charge somebody else. <laughs> Fair. Which might be a terrible idea, but hey, we'll try it. Um, 12 inches. Anybody? Not quite. All right. You can do it before you attack. So you can charge first, then cast your spell, then fight. It's just, you cast your spell anytime during activation before you attack. All right. I'm going to charge with these guys. Go get them. Into that one. So you can get within 12 of my boss. So I can get within 12 of your boss, man. And I'm going to headbutt him. No! But but with an H. Headbutt him. Not uh, not yes. apostrophe headbutt him. No, no, no. Got no. it. Legal, is legally distinct. Legally distinct from headbutting. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so... And it is on a five plus, uh, four plus because I'm wizard sure. one. Yeah. No. No. Uh, all right, and now I will attack you. Do it all again. Yep. All right. Uh, and now you're charging, but you're hit on sixes. And furious six. will add one to one of your weapons, though. Furious, yes. So you'd get on five. Great weapon. You're gonna hit on fives. Five. One. one. AP one or AP two. Nope. Uh, Take so a wound. One wound. Three attacks on it at AP one. Nothing. Nope. One attack at AP. Nothing. Nope. nope. Uh, 
I Fight you one. back. <laughs> Two attacks, also on sixes, but they explode from poison. Nope. And quality three plus. I laugh. Uh, and you push me back this time. Well, all right then. It's time to unleash the beast. Go get him, boss. Bork, Bork, going 12. <laughs> <laughs> so, boss and hounds, best friends forever, go fight. Extra hand weapons, so he's got four attacks. He's hitting on threes. He's furious. We're going to make his hand weapon do extra stabs on the charge, so it's going to hit on twos. Conveniently that I did that. Uh, so, three at AP1. Uh, three on fives. One, two. And then the hound gives me four attacks. Just straight up on threes. Two more just regular saves. Two more out of four. No! Down he goes! It's just the whiz. Just the whiz. Combat, but he's not wounded, so hey, conveniently he'll I just wave. Have you on a six? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, you do. Ah. Oh! Uh, three plus defense. No! no like a wound! <laughs> My god. <laughs> now I lose combat. Now you lose combat. Uh, and I'm down to just the chanter, so he has a quality of five plus. He's running away. Nope, he's not. He's wavered because he's not below half wounds. So he's wavered. He'll lose his next activation. He's panicked for the turn. The sacrifice and fire tokens are convenient for this game. They work quite well. Uh, and we're both exhausted. Extra exhausted. So what you doing, Breed Squad? Well. Oh, oh, what I got? Oh, I do have 12 inches to that guy. All right. Go get him. Go get him. Because. I mean, what else are we going to do with our lives? <laughs> That's what it works, dude. It's all gas, no brakes. Literally all we know. <laughs> I'm going to kill this one evocator so good. <laughs> Just sending a whole squad of brutes to do it. I'm into it. The great weapon with the Furious again, so that he hits on twos. Three hits. AP2. Three hits, AP2. Just sixes. No. That'll do it. Suffers existence failure. Get a three-inch consolidate. Yeah. Um, well, can't consolidate into combat, but we can make it look good when you charge me. Unless I can get seven inches away from them, which I don't think I can. Nope. Well, speaking of which, let's liberate you from your lives. <laughs> We're going to also charge. Go get you with the hammers. It's hammer time. Phalanx, I gotta make six dangerous terrain tests for your... Uh, no, just, just up to the number of spears. Oh, so the... Oh, oh, it's just one then. I thought I'd make one per no, guy. No, 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 number of spears that I have. So I've got three got spears in the unit, so you take three. So three dangerous strength. Three dangerous. Dangerous. Got it. Still good. And then I got 12 attacks. Hitting on threes with the liberators. And these are all hammers. So four hits with the first roll. Uh, five, six hits. AP1. AP1. So this, I'm on fives. This may go poorly for me because I only hit with half. Uh, oh dear! Kill I one. Three of them. Only kill one. We'll start with the. Oh, I am on sixes though because you're tired. Yeah. Uh, being sleepy. So, uh, great weapon on sixes. Nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Normal attacks. These are with the speed. They never got to attack list. Three attacks on the special. Not a. Nope. I'll do my three AP one attacks from the boss. Nothing. And we'll do my three deadly three attacks from the boss. I mean, no. on six. Two. <laughs> okay. Two saves. <sighs> well, I have three plus armor at least. Oh my god. Oh, two die. <laughs> oh my god. Because it's, it's deadly three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, that swung the combat in your favor somehow. <laughs> Quality three plus. So claw. Fine. Jesus. Uh, okay, and then you won the combat because because Pinchy wanted it that way, and I push back. That looks like round. Um, so you destroyed two units. No, you destroyed one unit. You destroyed my evocation squad and the liberators. Oh no, you destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I destroyed three units actually. Sorry. <laughs> so that's gonna get you two points because I because you scored that one. Uh, you hold three, but it doesn't give you any bonuses for... It doesn't go higher than two, so I think that's the highest one you scored this round. Uh, I failed no morale checks. Yeah, so that's going to be the highest. It'll be that you kill three units. You're going to score two for that and go to four. And then I hold one, hold two. I think you still hold this one. And you took that one away from me, so I don't score anything else. I did destroy a unit, though, so I get one and go to three. Cause them to fail morale check, but they're worth the same amount, so I can't score both.
Ron round three, uh, and you, I went last, you so did. you actually get to go first again, but start of the round, I'm going to unleash the hunters, because I'm going to remember to do that this time. Oh, I forgot about them. I also forgot about them, and we're going to go over here, <laughs> and I'm probably outside of nine of the enemy, and steal an objective, and hopefully not die. Let's roll to see what our objectives are for the round. D66 me. D66, all right. So, red tie, blue tie. Uh, the big, we'll do, uh, bre the Brown. bigger die is high. Yeah. Twelve. Well. Uh, hold two, which is, I think you're on it. No, it's this one. Hold, hold, hold two, yeah, that makes, that makes it, that makes sense, actually. Uh, 34, which is hold four, which is this one. Ooh. Getting spicy. This side of the battlefield matters. And 15. 51. Oh, no, 51. 51 is... Volley fire, destroy enemy with a range attack. One's getting that one, except maybe my boss. You sir, are going first. Take off my activated markers. And it's round. We got two units really to activate. It's your boss and this one brood squad, because the wizard's yeah. wavered this turn, so he is forfeiting his activation for the round. So and then I'm going to charge the boss, man. Who? I don't think I can shenanigan the charge to string up to 12 or 3 inches from that objective. So. You always consolidate afterwards. That's true. If I kill him, I hope I kill him. I mean, I have two wins left. <laughs> you are very orcs. We are very orcs. You make a valid point. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get that guy there so he can consolidate back. Many stabs. I will do the furious on the great weapon because you brought all this armor. I might as well negate it. Two hits. Mm -hmm. AP two. Six fives. Pass fail. One wound. Got one left. I'll do the boss man. He's got three attacks at AP1 for two hits. Fours. Dead. Just oh. a man with a dog. Holiday back. Go grab four. Just to grab four. And three. And three. And you're activated. Well, we're going to go with the rangers and they're going to charge this wizard. <laughs> go in. Plus two. Plus two. Double check. Double check, and it's good. Uh, and he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll be fine. It's all gonna be great. I only have three attacks. I'm talking melee. Yeah, they're only good at shooting, but I, I need them to be over there. So and I also need to be away from that thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Otherwise, dead. So they are quality three plus. Ha <laughs> ha! That got me. Win this combat. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Win this combat. I'm gonna hit you on a five. Take everything oh, from I me. Nah, I bounce back an inch because I lost somehow. Oh, here comes Crushinator. Yeah, and he flies, so he ignores the terrain. Sure do. Uh huh. He's just gonna go majestically stand <laughs> on that objective. He's gonna go ultra stand. Uh, I'm just gonna put him here yeah, for yeah, the I sake of models. Where, where are we go? I see. The trees, the trees, the trees explode around uh, him. We're gonna give the Furious to the Crushinator again. Gonna oh, Crushinator! He's gonna hit you on twos. Uh, yeah, you uh, are. Just six hits at AP2. Ha! Go! Two. Two get crushed. Right? Impact three, so yeah, three so. normal fives. We're good. They're good. Uh, then it is my boss's great weapon on threes. Three more hits at AP2. Fives! Save one. And then his rip fist at AP1. On threes. And you missed. Uh, Fours. Take one more. Kills us. Fight back somehow. <laughs> Hooray! Two attacks from the leader. Two hits. Oh, glad AP one. Poison. Getting hammered, son. Fives. <gasps> Took a wound. Took two wounds. Lost well, like a champion, though. I'm good. Quality three plus. Didn't. Well, care. I have that guy left. <laughs> um, he's gonna charge. You shaman, because <laughs> I want yep. him dead. Yep. Die, shaman. Take everything from him. Two attacks. Liberate him from himself. Two hits. Six is because he's exhausted. Maybe one. Oh, sorry. Yes, I am. So, nothing. Hey, I'm also exhausted, which halves my chances of hitting you. Nope. Nothing. Bounce off. <laughs> we off. bounce off. Demon's going to unwaver himself. And that's game. And that's, uh, <laughs> or turn, sorry, actually. That's turn, yeah. Yeah, turn four. Um, you hold four and three, and that means that you could score one from either of those. The last one was shooting, and we didn't do that. So you go to five, and I'm at three. Let's round of the game. Let's roll our objectives and see what we got to do. 
Oh, does. Crushinator. Oh, Crushinator. Now, Wait. conveniently, I get to go first this time. <laughs> you activated last. Uh, your Shaman unwavered last. Oh, you're right. I know. 43. You also killed one of my units before you got to go. Uh, 43. Hold the line. Have at least three units within your deployment zone while your enemy has no units in their deployment zone. This card can't be scored in round one. That's going to so, be tricky. Yep. That's not going to be not easy. 54. We've had this one before. Mm, 54 is outflank. No enemy units within six of the center. We haven't had that one before. 64. Executioner, destroy enemy with the hero rule. It's being, be, yeah, have guys in your deployment zone without having guys in your deployment zone. So, like, basically keep a unit back. Then it's not having anyone within six or 12 of the middle. Then it's kill a hero. Well, let's do the one that we can do and try and kill a hero. Because that's all I've got right now. Might as well. I'm going to bolt storm Chris your face off. I advance hope. while I do it. I'm going to advance into your deployment zone to deny you the other one so you can't just scoot back there with your boss. Uh, so six shots with the pistols on threes. That's going to be five hits at AP1. It uh, feels bad. It feels bad. A shaman has got a defense of five plus. So six as it is. Yep, and he takes four. Yay, I killed a hero. <laughs> They're not activated. So do do what thou wilt with the Liberator, I guess. <laughs> I mean, not have any enemy units within six or 12 is still a thing. And if you kill this guy, you'll definitely have both of those. Yes. Which will score you too. I feel like bad things are about to happen, but uh -huh. that could just be me. That could just be you. We will furious with the great weapon. Do it. Two hits. Mm, minus, doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, is it deadly? No, no, no. Oh, that go, one's I got a wound left. Okay. I got three on threes with the boss. AP one on this. Three hits. And fours. Is it eight minus one? No, nah, he's gone. Dead. That's it. And you could go kill me if you want, but you basically have the one where. Yeah. Uh, you hold the middle. You have no one within 12 of the middle, which will score you two. And that's, I think, the highest you could score right now. 15, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could. but uh, you know what? Somebody needs to go tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> Let them go and tell of the, the great pumpkin, the coming of the great pumpkin. Um, and there it is, uh, round four. That'll score you two at the end. Uh, I killed a hero, I'll go to four. You'll be at seven. So it'll be seven to four, end of the battle round um, with our procedural mission. And yeah, the orcs, the orcs cleaned up the table at a thousand points. We'll see you in two weeks to see how they do at 2,000. So there we go, the orcs taking it home in Age of Fantasy, our first Age of Fantasy game, um, using some models we hadn't used in a while. So we're going to up it to 2,000 points, change up the army lists, make some new miniatures out we haven't used in a long time, um, and throw down again. You'll see that in two weeks. So big thanks for watching. Thanks, Alan Ash. Have a great night. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model costs, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.